guys, today I'm going to do another Jessica Tries anime video and this time I'm going to be talking about Devil's a Part-Timer, uh, which is a funny uh, title, um, but basically what it is, is uh, Satan, uh, or Sadao Mao, he uh, is basically forced to leave his uh, hell that he kind of rules over and goes to the real world with his general Alciel and because it's a real world they're stripped of their magic and they look human and basically are forced to survive in a human world of Japan and so Mao gets a part-time job at a Meg Ronald's which is you know basically McDonald's and it's about him kind of trying to navigate the real world while also trying to gain some magic back so he can get uh, back to his universe or whatever hell you call it um, and then in the first episode Amelia who is a hero in his world comes basically to defeat him um, and bring him kind of back to his world so he can be punished and so she's also forced to kind of live in the real world until she can defeat him and then come back to her world and it's just really funny um, it's basically, you know, a comedy kind of slice of life anime, except obviously with a fantasy twist because, you know, literal Satan <laughs> is the main character. So there's obviously a uh, fantasy magic elements to it. Um, unfortunately, it only had one season and it's been about five years since that one season. So there's kind of little hope that there's going to be more than that, but who knows? Sometimes anime can take its time. So fingers crossed. I thought that it was pretty popular when it was come out, so I'm kind of surprised that there hasn't been more. But anyway, I loved it. Uh, Rick suggested it to me. Uh, it was kind of like to take a kind of comedic break from the more emotional stuff I'd been watching. And there was some emotion involved, definitely, but it was definitely on the more comedic side uh, with a little bit of action, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, If you're looking for something that's really funny, I definitely suggest it. All of the, like, funny names that they have for real food restaurants is pretty funny. Like, instead of a Starbucks, they have a Moon Bucks. And instead of KFC, they have an SFC. And it's just pretty funny to see their parodies. It's definitely, I would put it in a more, like, parody comedy genre. Because it's definitely a parody of modern life in Japan. A parody of these fast food places. Um, it's pretty pretty funny and honestly as weird as it sounds Satan is a great character and I actually kind of rooted for him to win throughout the show which is interesting and he has really great character development it still feels really weird to say Satan had great character development you know it's a funny sentence to say but it's true he does have really great character development and his general Alciel is so funny uh, when he's trying to you know budget money and go grocery shopping and do the chores is really funny to kind of the contrast of these like grand fantasy people in this kind of drab apartment in this modern human world it's just like a really hilarious contrast and there's is a bit of an over sexualization of one of the female characters but you know to be honest from what I can see it's a little bit common in anime to over sexualize some of the female characters it's only one of the characters and it's handled pretty well it's not really annoying but it's just a little warning to you that there is a character that they over sexualize just a little bit but overall I really loved it there's only like 13 episodes I think and hopefully fingers crossed that they're just taking their sweet time to make a good season two and that there will be a season two because I really enjoyed it and I thought it was really funny and it's nice to watch something that's just kind of like harmless funny fun sometimes so if you're looking for a bit of a way to escape and a bit of a way to you know just laugh and not take something so seriously then I definitely suggest devil is a part-timer now next week I will be talking about sword art online which is the anime I've been trying the last week and a half or so and it has literally become my t in my top three list of favorite shows of all time so that says a lot so i will be talking about that next week but until then i will see you next weekend